You know, man, the thing we talk about so much, your mind has to be ahead of your body. We Everybody know their body hurt short week, but, man, it's all about just a turnaround. You know, we, no matter, like I said, no matter what, we're ready to play football. That's a Hall of Fame quarterback on the other side and a desperate football team. In the second half, when they had momentum, you guys got off the field. How big was that? It's always big, man. We That's what we talk about, sudden change. Things like that, man, we got to have our offense back. No matter if we go down the score, we back on the field. If we turn over the ball, we back on the field. So, man, it's just that, um, you know, we don't blink on defense uh, mindset. You know, no matter what our offense does with the ball, you know, we're going to have their back. So, uh, man, let's just spark our defense by going out there drawing a the line. Two months ago, this team was 0-2. Now you've won 7 of 8. How did that turnaround happen? I mean, we, I think we got tighter as a team. You know, when we talk about winning, we talk about trying to build culture. It's, it's about that locker room, man. You know, when we playing for each other, when we playing more together, man, it just it feels different, man. When you win, it feels different. So I just I think it's that, man. We playing together and we having fun together. A lot of guys are beat up in this locker room. How big is this next 10 days going to be? It's going to be big. I mean, I'm, I'm going to enjoy the rest a little bit. Uh, but, man, it's back to work. You know, we had a facing another good quarterback, you know, in 10 days. But, like I said, you use your time right here for uh, mentally and physically. So, I mean, it's kind of like a minute bye week. You know, we got to take advantage of it. Yeah, appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate you. Um, honestly, I would just say just coming in and knowing my role, knowing where I uh, stand on this football team, um, taking care of my details, um, preparing the right way, and then just going out and playing for the team, not for myself. 400-yard game, 300-yard passing game for this offense. Is this what we can hope to see down the stretch of the season? I would just say this is um, its just our brand of football. We're just going to keep playing the football the same way, and um, the outcomes will be the outcomes of it. How do, you, how do you like getting the opportunity to you know, just really stab them in the heart with that last play? Um, honestly, it just shows confidence in um, Coach Todd, uh, Braves, and also Ryan. Just to believe in me to do that, and um, you know, I, I take care of my business and made a play. What do you think has led to that confidence? Because he speaks very highly of you, you know, especially when right, right, right. Back. What has led to that confidence? Uh, just my preparation, how I come to the facility and attack everything that they throw at me, uh, never back down from it, and just keep doing exactly what I'm doing. You expect this to be a jumping off point for you? Uh, Set a bar now? Uh, I just say, I mean, this is me. Uh, just keep playing the same way, and you know, whatever happens, happens. We but really, this week out, everyone focuses on stopping Derrick Henry. You having this 100 yard receiver game, Tannehill 300 yards passing. What does that say to the rest of the league that always wants to focus on him? Um, honestly, I would just say, man, you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, just. We're just going to come ready to play, and um, you know the outcome will be the outcome of it. Trillin, does this indicate, though, that you talk about you know, someone likes being injured? Like... Uh, I wouldn't really classify it as that. I feel like, you know, throughout this entire week, the preparation that we put in, we knew coming to this game it was going to be a tough matchup, but we was confident that we was going to come out here and get the W. Uh, these type of games, cold weather games, Obviously, you know, kind of got embarrassed last time we was out here on Saturday Night Football, but we played. We felt like we're the most physical team in this league, and we knew they was going to come in and try to run the ball. We was great against the run. Our offense played really well. Probably had that best showing of the year. Ryan Tannehill was dicing them up. Uh, Robert Woods had a really great game. So we was very confident going to this game, and we just understood that we could stop the run and prevent some big plays, which we gave up a couple. Uh, we was going to be good to go. So defense made some great stops and critical downs, and so did the offense. They made big plays in critical spots this is as well. The definition of a team win, yeah? Exactly. And the way it's the way it's been all year, man, it hasn't been pretty all the time. Um, it's, it's been gritty, but that's the way we like it. You know, at the end of the day, if we can make games gritty, uh, we feel like we're always going to come out on top. How much juice does that give you guys on the defensive side of the ball when the passing game and the offense in general is clicking the way that it was? No, it's a lot of juice. Watching Robert Woods go across the middle, catching those passes, Nick Westbrook trailing, making plays, Derek getting hard, hard runs and hard earned yards. Uh, it gives you a lot of juice. Um, but like I said, man, it was great to see the offense kind of get it rolling. Hopefully that's something they continue to do, man, because going down this stretch, man, we're going to continue to play great football and great football teams. Uh, so, you know, every game up to this point, but it's going to be another big game. So, uh, but like I said, man, as the preparation and this team, man, honestly, I feel like this team is special because, uh, like I said, man, the, win the wins aren't always pretty, but just the family environment, we just always come closer and closer together. So uh, just excited, man. This, this team is a special team. You talk about the, the preparation necessary on a short week. I mean, you guys have had a tremendous amount of success with that. What, what kind of buy-in does it take to get guys ready to go to, you know, Monday is basically Wednesday and Thursday? Yeah, I mean, it starts early in the week. Obviously, it starts with Mike Brable just setting the tone, 
kind of discussing and talking to the team about, you know, this is going to be a physical recovery. It's going to be about physical recovery, but mental performance as well. So we what didn't have a lot of practice as far as speed reps, but the preparation was on point. Meeting rooms, guys were answering questions, guys watching a ton of film away from the building. And I think that's where it starts, man. Like I said, man, I think this team is very special. This team uh, wants to win ball games. Um, but like I said, man, as, as, as long as we continue to keep going up, uh, we'll be playing football in January and February. How do you like how you guys just came in here and just business Yeah, I mean, we felt confident this entire week with the preparation that we had. Uh, obviously, not a lot of speed reps, but guys in the meeting rooms watching a ton of film. Uh, it, it feels great, though, to come to Lambeau Field, obviously, especially the way it happened to, in 2020, uh, to come out here and get a big W against a Hall of Fame quarterback. From a defender's perspective, what's the challenge of seeing a trailing burst on the other side? I mean, he's a big guy. Uh, he's a big guy, strong, but he also has speed as well. Uh, I think he had a really great game, made some tough catches, especially, you know, the catch he had at the end to kind of end the game. Uh, he's just a really good receiver. And I think, you know, as, as he continue to continue to be out there getting those reps, I think he's going to keep getting better and better. I know you focus on the defensive game. Really going particularly in the passing game, what kind of felt right for you guys? Uh, just all playing this morning, you know, having each other's back. Uh, you know, whatever the coach called, we just tried to do our best to do it. And you know, it worked out in our favor. Uh, for Tannehill, though, it felt like that's as comfortable as he's been in the passing game in a while. I mean, protection at times was, was really, really strong. How much pride do you guys take in that? Oh, a lot of pride. That's, you know, that's our quarterback, that's our guys. So we want to keep them upright and comfortable as much as possible, and we were able to do that. Uh, given that, you know, everybody in the league is going to key on Derek mm -hmm. every given time, how big to see the performance for guys like Traylon and in the passing game to continue to keep those drives alive? I know, it's huge. Uh, it just kind of shows for the people that we have a lot of options. We have a lot of talent on this team, especially the offensive side. So, you know, it's big. I'm proud of them. You like the kill shot up here trying to go oh, forward? Oh, man, that was beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Most definitely. Appreciate it, yeah, no problem. Were you watching before when that play? Did you get a chance to turn around and see him? I, I did not, man. I, I just uh, heard the crowd, and I just looked up. I said, oh, we got it. You know what I mean? Uh, that was a big play, a huge play by Traylon. I said, just very proud of him. What's it like to be here? Quiet. Watching him. Right. Yeah, this is a historic team, a historic franchise, and, uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for these guys. And, you know, to so come in here and be able to play our game, you know, it's big. Yeah, most definitely. I feel like um, like we have a lot of talent on this offense, like I said before, and uh, we're just able to show people that.